Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to identify the base and the height of a triangle. Now, if you're wondering why you need to know what the base and the height of a triangle is, then the reason for that is that it will help you to find out the area of a triangle. And we are going to learn how to find out the area of a triangle in another lesson. But for now, what we're going to do in this lesson is simply focus on identifying the base and the height of a triangle. All right, so let's get started. Let's make a triangle and let's uh, begin from there. So here is a very regular triangle. We just got three sides like any triangle. And we're going to call this triangle as A, B, C. Right, and this triangle is also going to have some color, a nice pink. All right, now the base of a triangle, or actually the base of anything, what is meant by the base, the word base? Well, what the word base means is it means the bottom. And if you apply this to triangle, what it means is the bottom of the triangle. Now, what do you think is the bottom of this triangle ABC? Well, the bottom of this triangle is the part or the side of the triangle that's at the bottom. And at the bottom, what we have is this side, which is AB. And therefore, it is the base of the triangle. So the base of the triangle is simply the bottom of the triangle and what we have as the bottom of this triangle ABC is the side AB and hence that becomes the base of the triangle. So as simple as that, the base of the triangle is the side of the triangle that's at the bottom. So over here, it's the side AB that's at the bottom and therefore the side AB is the base of the triangle. So I'm going to write that down that this side AB is the base of the triangle. So the base is equal to the side AB. As simple as that. Okay, so we're done with that. The base has been taken care of. But what is the height? Well, actually, what is the height of anything? If you think of your height, how would you measure your height? Well, actually, if you measure somebody's height, then what you do is you measure him from his top to his toes. So you simply measure the guy from his top to his toes or top to bottom. So in the case of the triangle, we do the same. We apply the same principle. We simply measure how long or how tall the triangle is from its top to its bottom. Now, the top of this triangle is quite obviously this corner, which is corner C. Okay, so the top of this triangle is the corner C. And when you want to measure the height of this triangle, all you do is you drop a line from this corner, which is the top, on to the bottom and the bottom we know we said just now is the line or the side AB. So all you do when you measure the height of this triangle is you figure out what the top of the triangle is. Okay, so if AB is the bottom, then obviously the corner opposite AB will be the top. So this is the top, the corner C is the top. So all you do is you take the corner and drop a line on to the bottom or the base. And that line, which is, let's see, this is line CD. Okay, let's call this as D then this line CD becomes the height of the triangle. Quite simple, as simple as that. The height of the triangle is the line dropped from the top of the triangle on to the bottom. So we're going to call this as the height of the triangle, all right? So the line CD is the height of the triangle. So the base of the triangle is the side AB, okay? And the height of the triangle is the line CD. Now, if you're wondering why is it just CD that's the height of the triangle, why can't the height of the triangle be, say, this line over here, CX, or this line, say, CY? Okay, why can't CX or CY be the height of the triangle? Well, these are also lines dropped from the top to the bottom, right? This is the top C, and this line CX is also a line dropped from the top to the bottom, and this line CY as well is a line dropped from the top to the bottom. So why can't CX and CY be the heights? Well, the reason why CX and CY can't be the heights of this triangle is because they are not 
perpendicular to the side AB, which is the base. Okay, so for a line to be called the height of the triangle, it should be perpendicular to the base, which is AB. And in this case, it's only CD that's perpendicular to the base, which is AB. And therefore, CX and CY are not the heights of the triangle. All right, so it's just CD, that's the height of the triangle, and CX and CY, since they are not perpendicular to AB, they are not the heights of the triangle. Now, another point to note is that the height of the triangle is actually the shortest line from the top to the bottom. Now, CX and CY are actually longer than CD, and it's only the perpendicular that's the shortest line, okay? So, therefore, the line CD is the height of the triangle because it's the shortest line from the top to the base, all right? So, I'm going to remove these two lines, CX and CY, simply because they're not perpendicular to AB, and it's just CD that's perpendicular to AB. Okay, so we have this clear that the base of the triangle is the side of the triangle that's at the bottom and the height of the triangle is the line from the top corner to the base, which is also perpendicular to the base. So I'm sure you're thinking right now that, okay, this is all good as long as this triangle has the side AB at its bottom. But what if I take this triangle and I turn it so that AB is no longer at the bottom, then what happens? Actually, let me show that to you. So let me copy this triangle and let me paste it here and then work on it. So I take this triangle, maybe I drop it another color and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this triangle. Okay, so we take this triangle and we turn it or rotate it so that the side AB is no longer at the bottom and what is at the bottom is this side which is the side BC. Actually, let me put these labels upright so the B looks really like B and not an inverted B or a rotated B. So this is your B, this is your C, and this is your A. So what I did here was I took this triangle ABC and I rotated it so that AB was no longer at the bottom. Now what we have at the bottom is this side which is BC. So then what happens to the base? Well, what happens to the base is now the base of the triangle is this side BC. So the base of the triangle has now changed to BC. So this is our new base which is BC. So if BC is the bottom or the base of the triangle, then what's the height of the triangle now? Well, what you see is that the corner A is at the top of the triangle. So now the height of the triangle is again simply a line dropped from the top to the bottom. And you know that the top is always the corner that's opposite the base, okay? The base is this line BC and the corner that's opposite the base is this corner A. So a line dropped from the opposite corner onto the base, which is also perpendicular to the base, is the height of the triangle. So the height of the triangle now is this line AE, okay? So AE is the height of the triangle and let's mark it such. So this is the new height of the triangle. So what we know now is the base of the triangle is the line or the side BC and the height of the triangle is now equal to this line AE. And what we also note is AE is again perpendicular to the base, which is BC. So you see here, if the base of the triangle changes, so does the height. The base here was AB. In the pink triangle, the base was AB and the height was CD because the corner opposite the base was C and the line dropped from C onto AB is the line CD, which is perpendicular to AB. So the height is CD. But over here in the blue triangle, the base of the triangle or the side of the triangle, which is at the bottom, is the line BC or the side BC. So the base is BC and therefore the height has changed. The height is now AE. Again, a line that's from the top corner, the opposite corner to the base. That's perpendicular to the base. Okay, so the height is now AE. So I'm sure you're thinking right now that, okay, this is again all correct if the side of the triangle that's at the bottom is BC. But what if you turn it one more time? Actually, you can do that. You can turn it one more time. So let's take this triangle. Let's turn it one more time. I put this triangle here and what I do is I turn it one more time. And now what I have is 
the side BC is no longer the base of the triangle or it's no longer the bottom of the triangle. What's the bottom of the triangle is the side CA. So now we have the side CA as the bottom of the triangle and therefore it's the base of the triangle. So the new base of the triangle is the side CA. Okay, so this is the new base of the triangle and I forgot to change the color. Let me do that here. So now we have CA as the base of the triangle. Then what happens to the height? Well, the height is now a line drop from the top or the opposite corner, which is the corner B, onto the base, which is AC. And therefore, the height of the triangle is now this line BF. It's no longer CD or AE. Now it's BF. And it's dropped from the top corner onto the base. So now the new height of this triangle is the line BF. So the base is now equal to CA and the height is now equal to BF and the height is still perpendicular to the base. So what do you make from all this? Well, the point to take home from all this is that any of the three sides of the triangle could be the base of the triangle. And when you've picked the base of the triangle, the only thing to remember is that the height of the triangle will come from the opposite corner and will fall onto the base of the triangle. And it will be perpendicular to the triangle. So you can call AB as the base of the triangle, in which case it will be CD, that's the height of the triangle. Or if you want, you can call BC as the base of the triangle. Yes, you can do that as well. You can call BC as the base of the triangle and then it will be the opposite corner A from which the height will be dropped onto the base and it will be perpendicular here. So it will be then AE, that's the height of the triangle. Or if you want, you can call CA as the base of the triangle. And when you do that, it will be the line BF, that's the height of the triangle. So just remember that any of the three sides of the triangle can be the base of the triangle and that the height of the triangle is always perpendicular to the base of the triangle. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to end this lesson right here with the hope that you have understood what I've taught and that now you'll go and solve some practice problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Do go and practice. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.